I'm Mr. Reed from Wolverhampton Music Service. This video is to support beginner treble clef brass players who are playing the Just Play Treble Clef Brass book. Let's start by having a look at the basics of reading music again in case you're feeling a bit rusty. First thing we have is the stave. These five lines go right across the page and they are your scaffolding or your framework to put the other information on. On the line, we start with the treble clef symbol. There are different clef symbols, but this is the correct one to say that this music works for you. Next to it, we have 4-4. Four, four. This is your time signature. It tells you there are four beats in each bar. Now, on the simplified notation, you didn't have this because you always had four beats in each bar, but from now onwards, there don't have to be four beats in each bar, but 4-4 four, four says there are. If you remember the boxes that we had before that were telling you where each bar was, well now, instead of the whole box, we just simply have the lines here either side, and these are called bar lines that separate the music up into bars. Each bar in this tune is going to have four beats in it. Each bar will be full, there will be notes, there will be rests, and there are no gaps anymore. So you don't have to work out how long your rests will be, we're going to have rest symbols. So let's check the rest of the symbols out. We have a plain simple circle, which is the only note in that first bar, so it must fill all of the four beats. It is a four beat semi brief. In the second bar, we have a rest symbol. Notice it's not a circle. This is a little block hanging from the line. That is your rest for four beats, so it is a semi brief rest. Third bar, same as the first bar, semi brief note the plain simple circle, the only thing in the bar. Fourth bar, four beat rest again. Then we get into the fifth bar. Now we have a note symbol and a rest symbol. So what plus what adds up to a total of four. There are two new symbols, so it is something different. But if you notice, we have a little cheat here. This says that the little block sitting on the line is a two-beat rest. That is your minim rest. And by simple maths, this note will be a two-beat minim note. So two plus two makes four. Sixth bar is the same. Seventh bar we've done before and the eighth bar we've done before. Then the tune finishes with a double bar line at the end. This is your musical full stop. It says here's the end of the tune. Next we need to work out what note you're going to be playing for this tune. If you notice all of these notes are ringing round the bottom line of the stave. Can you see the circular part of the note? This tells us that all of these notes are the same note. The question as to which one is answered by the cheeky name of the tune, E's on the stave. All of these notes on the bottom line are the note E. Before you start playing the tune, you might want to make sure you have your note E working. It's in the middle of your five notes, so you need to remember what works for you, whether you're getting higher for the note or lower for the note. And it is played on first and second valves. And finally, before we play the tune, by now you should probably have recognised it. If you remember it is the tune you've played so many times before, play for four, rest for four, play for four, rest for four, and then you've got to make sure you've got the rest of it. What I'm going to do now is start playing the backing track. I will count you in on the four bars introduction exactly the same as we've always done, and then I'll leave you to play the tune. You might find that you could do with a pair of headphones if you have them available to help you hear the backing track. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, breathe. Now let's have a look at workout seventeen. It starts just like workout 16 did with the 4 beat semi brief E, 4 beat rest, 4 beat E, 4 beat rest. Then we reach these new length notes. If we look in the 7th bar you will see there are 4 notes, the same symbol and therefore the same length. So if you work the maths out it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1 makes 4. These are your 1 beat crotchets. So if we look in bars 5 and 6 you will see we have 3 1 beat crotchets plus the squiggle which you will see from the helpful box is your 1 beat crotchet rest. So having done play for four, then rest for four, play for four and rest for four, you now have play, 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 rest, play, 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 rest, play, 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 
play and play for four. Don't forget here is a good place to try doing your tonguing. Feel free to whisper and hopefully buzz through this section. It's a good way of practicing it because it's a nice simple pattern. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, three. Next, we'll look at workout 18 and 19. They're very similar to 16 and 17, but there is one big difference. The clue is in the name. Can you see they are Ds on the stave and more Ds on the stave? Why? Because the note has moved. Can you see that the circle for each note is now below the bottom line of the stave? It's in the space just below, which means that we have gone down one note from E to D. That means that the D is going to be on first and third valves and is either one note lower than E or not quite as high as E, depending on your point of view. If you're ready, let's play through workout 18. It's a very familiar tune. You've played it several times before. We're on the note D on first and third valves. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three. Two, three, four, four, two, three, three. And to finish this section, we're going to play workout nineteen, also on D. It's the other very familiar pattern. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, three. To finish off this video, I'm going to play through each of the four songs that we've done, starting with number 16. Here we go. Then number eighteen. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, three. Finally, number nineteen. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, three. <laughs> 
Thank you.